Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the DeFi tutorial. As you likely know, catalyst gaps are a key thing to look for for swing and momentum traders since they can lead to model book moves like here with BE, which after this catalyst gap, which is caused by a partnership announcement with Oracle, uh, this stock is up several hundreds of percent from that level and has presented many tradable opportunities uh, since here. And all of this was caused and created because of that partnership with Oracle to power their AI data centers. So catalyst gaps uh, represent incredible potential and we really wanna be able to dive deeper into the catalyst and be able to judge and learn more about its impact and whether it's just gonna be a flash in the pan uh, news event or something much more significant that kind of uh, changes how institutions are looking at a company. And today I'm gonna to showcase a quick and easy workflow uh, that uses the DFU AI terminal, the newly released feature that allows you to research a catalyst completely in-house. You don't have to go over uh, to you know 20 different tabs and try to you know look at what the headline was on a specific date. Everything is here for you. And I'm gonna share two different prompts that allow you to analyze catalysts and also break down earnings reports uh, very quickly and easily uh, to get you going and able to recognize uh, the strongest catalyst gaps uh, basically in real time. So again, we're going to go through this full workflow and I'll include the prompts down below in the description that you can copy and paste and use right now today in DFU. And if you're not already a part of DFU and want to make use of our DFU AI terminal, uh, definitely click the link down below the description and sign up um, and you can follow along right with me. So let's get into it. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and create uh, this easy to use dashboard, which basically allows you to spot pre-market movers in real time. And then quickly and easily you can drop in one of the prompts um, into uh, the DFU terminal element here and analyze any tickers that are gapping up in pre-market like AEO did uh, today before its earnings um, move here on this day. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually set up this workflow in just about a minute. So let's go ahead over down here to this uh, drop down, create a new dashboard. And we're gonna call this uh, demo pre-market callus gaps. Let's go ahead and click save. Now we've got a, a blank slate here. You can either add widgets like the chart, uh, terminal and um, screen here. Those are all widgets, either by clicking this button or at any time um, when you've got a uh, established dashboard by clicking add widget up here. So let's go ahead and drag in a chart. Let's drag in a screen so we can look in real time for those pre-market movers. And let's scroll all the way down and drag in the deep view terminal. Now all that's left is we'll go ahead and drag this to make it a little bit bigger. We'll drag the screen over and we'll go ahead and drag this chart all the way there and X this out. And we're pretty much good to go. All we have to do now is select the screen we want to use. And you can use any screen. You could set this up as a post-market screen, um, a screen that you you personally use. But we're, what we're gonna do is use one of our uh, preset screens, which everybody can access. So let's go ahead and click the screener, go over to screener presets, scroll down to pre and post-market, and do pre-market movers and gap ups. Uh, this is a preset screen that basically looks for uh, stocks gapping up on big volume uh, you know, uh, in, in the morning. So let's go ahead and sort this by pre-market percent change. And you can see the strongest movers here and basically go ahead and uh, interpret their intraday action, uh, you know, pre and post market and potentially get ready for a day one move or just recognize that these are likely gonna be strong gaps in the market. So AO again, announced earnings uh, last night um, and is gapping up pre-market and had a decent day today. So there's potentially a trend change. You can see we're transitioning from you know a stage four, stage one, to now potentially stage two and breaking out of the space with a nice catalyst gap. So let's say we want to learn more about AEO, um, you know, what caused their gap and uh, dive deeper into you know that catalyst and how durable it is. Uh, well, since we know this was an earnings report, uh, what we want to do is use one of the prompts that I have prepared. So these are, again, fully um, able to be accessed by clicking the link in the description down below. And once you go ahead through that process, you'll receive you know, this uh, document that has a bunch of prompts that I went over in another video, which I'll, I'll link down below as well. Uh, but what you want to go down to is um, this one right here, which is basically the earnings breakdown uh, deep dive here. So let's go ahead and uh, highlight that. Scroll here. Uh, select the whole prompt and go ahead and control C or command C. And actually I did a little bit too much. 
So let's just do this like that. There we go, Control C. And very soon we're gonna be adding in a prompt library. So all these prompts can be stored uh, just like a preset screen uh, that will be able to be able to quick quickly you know access them in just a few clicks so you won't have to store them elsewhere copy and paste them um, we'll be adding that feature very shortly um, okay so let's go ahead and uh, clear the chat and copy and paste this in and all we have to do is replace this ticker here with aeo because we want to dive deeper into uh, their most recent earnings report so let's go ahead and press enter and what this does is going to break down earnings growth, sales growth, uh, summarize things in key sections, and really make it easy for us to uh, dive deeper into the earnings without actually having to uh, go ahead and read it ourselves. So we'll let us do its thing. And there we go. So first things first, it gives a quick TLDR about um, the earnings report. Uh, a solid quarter beat growth is stable and re-accelerating. That's always good to see. That's the type of wording that we're looking for to indicate that this isn't a flash in the pan earnings gap. It maybe is something that will lead to a longer term move uh, driven by ro robust uh, performance in uh, two different uh, product segments. Margins tightened due to tariffs, uh, but operating profitability remained resilient. Uh, we raise Q4 guidance. So whenever I see something like that, that's definitely something I'm focused on. And uh, that's pretty much the TLDR. So TLDR stands for too long, didn't read. It's basically just a quick summary of uh, the earnings report. Then we get into seeing key metrics here, earnings growth, sales growth, surprises, all that stuff. And then it, basically I, I had in the prompt uh, for it to break down each of those different segments, revenue, earnings, margins into different uh, segments here. And uh, you can see uh, new products, if there are any, all this right here. And, uh, and yeah, so let's go ahead and dive deeper into um, the earnings report. So let's say uh, we, you know, we it indicated that these brands are doing really well. So let me go ahead and say, uh, tell me more about the product segments driving AEO. What new developments are there so let's go ahead and ask it that so it's just a way to kind of almost talk to the earnings report and gain more insight about the company okay so let's go ahead and wait for it to do its thing there we go offline by airy is doing well uh there's uh sydney sweeney and travis kelsey they're contributing uh to their growth here and the offline retail footprint is doing well so Basically, that's kind of all I would kind of need to be interested in the stock. And then once I've analyzed the catalyst and look for things like raised guidance, you know, new partnerships with people like Sydney Sweeney, Travis Kelsey, you know, at that point, it's all about price action and, um, you know, using my actual edges. But that's kind of how you would dive deeper into an individual earnings report. And of course, you could ask it any other follow up questions if you would like to. All right. So let's use uh, BE as an example again to show off the other prompts. So say you're going ahead and let me just go ahead and delete these drawings. Uh, you notice, you know, maybe after the fact on this day, um, you know, maybe here after the close that BE had a significant gap breaking out to new highs and you want to learn more about what drove that catalyst. Well, before you'd have to go and search Google, try to find a headline, especially if you're building a model book and you know, it's years, uh, you know, in the past, I've had to do this uh, a bunch of times. Um, you can easily go ahead and just do that in deep view by using a simple prompt. So let's go ahead back to the prompts. And again, this one will be in uh, the description and we're going to use this prompt right here, a uh, gap of catalyst and news breakdown specific date. So let's go ahead and highlight all that and control C and let's clear the chat and replace ticker with B E and get the specific date we're interested in, which is July 24th, 2025, 24th, 2025. There we go. Let's go ahead and run that. So this is very useful to do research and, and basically have DVU AI become your personal research analyst. You can go get a, you know, go get a drink of water, get a drink while it's doing this and a come back with a nice breakdown and report. So let's go ahead and see what it sees says here uh get but sharply uh there was a analyst upgrade uh from neutral to overweight that's big 
um, and raised price target as well. Uh, strong uh, quarter earnings beat and mar positive margins improve improvements. And there's a co company specific catalyst amid a sector tailwind from strong results um, from another company in the same theme. And reading through, there's also this big announcement of that collaboration with Oracle to power AI data centers. So again, you would have to be Googling a ton to find this information. Here, DFU AI just curates it all for you. Um, so these problems can save you a ton of time uh, during your workflow. Um, so again, Oracle partnership announcement, you've got the analyst upgrade from neutral to overweight and just sector tailwinds overall. And those are the type of things we're looking for that can potentially lead to a several hundred percent move that we can um, you know, use entry tactics to enter as swing traders, as momentum traders, as position traders. Um, so that's pretty much it for the video. We covered a lot, you know, two key prompts that help you uh, break down the fundamentals of a company and specifically analyze different catalysts, whether an earnings report or, you know, another type of news event for, in this case, it was uh, earnings as well as this partnership announcement. And then also we just showed how to set up this quick uh, pre-market movers dashboard, which you can sort by pre-market percent change and see what are the biggest movers in pre-market and also see the pre-market volume versus average. And anything over 10%, we highlight in um, blue here. So those are the ones that are moving on much bigger volume and are more likely to have you know, you know know significant institutional interest uh, that day and ideally lead to strong trends like this. Uh, but, you know, they don't always, but uh, that's the potential there. And uh, AEO was highlighted here, 90% volume versus average. Uh, KMTS, much bigger. Um, serve, you know, 13%. This had a nice move off the open here and a gap and go move. And uh, yeah, the, that's kind of that's kind of it. And getting back to a recent example as well, if we go to AMF, because uh, in addition to uh, AEO, uh, you know, the retail section uh, sector and theme in general has been very strong. And this is another recent earnings gap that we can go ahead and analyze. And let's just go ahead and copy that prompt again and just show one more example to really bring it home. So let's go ahead and copy this earnings report and replace ticker with AMF and go. And this day, obviously, uh, it's it was in a longer term downtrend. And this was kind of a game changing report and very strong move since especially on day one, and going over to an intraday time frame. Uh, and let's go ahead and just show uh, basically what I'm doing is just turning off the uh, pre and post market uh, data by right clicking on the chart, going to settings, and under session, just going to regular trading hours, and going back to uh, the gap up day. And this was tradable by one of my favorite um, gapper entry tactics, which is the anchored view up reclaim right on this bar right here. And it trended above that entry the whole day and up a nice 15% from the entry tactic. But let's go ahead and see what they say here. Uh, AMF reported a solid Q3 fiscal 2025 with a record net sales growing 7% year over year, um, marketing its 12th consecutive quarter of top loan growth. Um, earnings results were generally positive, showing re-accelerating growth. So again, that wording is something that we want to key in on and, and um, identify as potential game-changing news. Uh, margin expansion, faced some input cost pressures, margins held stable, and uh, management maintained confident guidance for upcoming quarters with cautious optimism. That's good too. Uh, na navigating macro uncertainty. So not quite as strong as the AEO report, uh, but you're seeing that re-acceleration of growth that's always key to see. And you can dive deeper into uh, the different sections here. And what's really cool about the DFU uh, AI is you can kind of define for yourself how it's gonna break down the formatting. So basically in this prompt, I'm telling it to create these different sections, one for margins, one for you know buybacks, dividends, new products, all of that. So you can of course tweak the prompt and make it output however you'd like. Uh, if you wanna you know get rid of this TLDR at the, at the front, you can and just kind of make it your own, just like as you would a preset screen. Uh, so that's one more example of a recent earnings breakdown. So again, that just kind of shows the potential of how much time it can save you uh, instead of having to read through an earnings report or a conference transcript, uh, run this, get the gist of it, and the key words that you're looking for um, you know, as, as an output here uh, using that DFU terminal AI. So let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, I'd love to answer them. If you have any suggestions for how else we can integrate uh, the AI uh, into the platform, definitely let us know down below. 
And again, if you're not already a part of DFU, this is a fantastic time to join. We're adding uh, new features and products developments with the AI um, over almost every single week. So definitely go ahead and join up and uh, try it out for yourself and see how it can save you time as it does many of our members. So thanks so much for tuning in again, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.